The Nurture Assumption, Why Children Turn Out the Way They Do, by Judith Rich Harris is a groundbreaking work that challenges conventional notions of the influence of parenting on child development. Published in 1998, the book presents a radical argument that goes against the prevailing belief that parents play a significant role in determining their children's personalities and behaviors. Harris's central thesis is that the influence of parents, particularly their parenting styles and techniques, is overestimated in shaping a child's development. She contends that factors outside the home environment, such as peer interactions and genetic inheritance, have a more substantial impact on a child's behavior and personality traits. Harris draws from a wide array of research in psychology, sociology, and anthropology to support her argument. She highlights the significance of peer groups in shaping children's behaviors, asserting that children are more likely to adopt the behaviors and values of their peers than those of their parents. One of the book's key points is the concept of the group socialization theory, which posits that children's behaviors are primarily influenced by the social dynamics of their peer groups. Harris suggests that children have a natural inclination to conform to the norms and behaviors of their peers as a way to fit in and establish their identities. This theory challenges the traditional belief that parental influences are the primary driving force behind a child's development. Harris also delves into the role of genetics in shaping children's personalities and behaviors. She acknowledges that genetics can predispose children to certain traits and tendencies that can influence their interactions with their environment, including their peers and parents. This perspective adds another layer to her argument that parental influences are not as dominant as commonly believed. Throughout the book, Harris critically examines studies on identical twins raised in different environments and adoptive children raised by unrelated parents. She uses these studies to highlight the limitations of attributing a child's development solely to their parents' actions. By doing so, she challenges readers to re-evaluate their assumptions about the causal relationship between parenting and child outcomes. Harris's writing style is analytical and well-researched, though it has also been met with controversy. Critics argue that her emphasis on the negligible role of parenting can be interpreted as dismissing the importance of a supportive and nurturing home environment. Some also contend that Harris downplays the influence of parents in certain critical areas, such as morality and values. In conclusion, the nurture assumption, why Children Turn Out the Way They Do presents a paradigm-shifting perspective on child development. Judith Rich Harris challenges the conventional wisdom about the significance of parenting in shaping a child's behavior and personality. By emphasizing the role of peer groups and genetics, Harris invites readers to reconsider their understanding of the factors that contribute to a child's development. While her argument has been met with criticism and debate, the book remains a thought-provoking contribution to the field of psychology and continues to influence discussions on the nature-nurture debate.